Well, just released is a brand new module album. It's called Imagineering, and uh, it's his only his second album since his debut, Remarkable Engines, a few years ago now. And uh, Module joins us via Skype in his uh, studio in Lyle Bay there this morning. Morning, Modge. Hey, mate. How you doing? Got a bit of a funny Skype connection again. Oh, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just gone slightly patchy. It always does that just as we go to here. Um, uh, now, um, you're, now yep. you're with us in Lyle Bay, which is a, your new studio. Yes, just built one out, out here. It's really nice and um, it's all going really well. So, yeah. Um, now, when I say your second album, uh, you know, from, from Remarkable Engines, which is a few years ago now, that, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be correct to say that you've been doing nothing in, in between and you haven't been making music. No, well, um, I've actually probably released the equivalent of about 12 albums in that space, <laughs> just, under, just under different names, and, and um, I've been working for video games, so I've done quite a few soundtracks in the air, and I'm, um, I've worked on a couple of other music projects, and yeah, I mean, I think Remarkable Engines really just kind of opened the door for lots of opportunities for me, and I just followed those, yeah. rather, than, uh, rather than just releasing another album. And um, to be honest, like, I didn't really know what to do after Remarkable Engines, I kind of like, well, oh, okay, I've written this album, and yeah, I just was was quite happy exploring and doing other things. So. And exploring it did, and, and as you said, um, computer games as well. And in fact, I think the last time you had you on the show a couple of years ago was for um, the soundtrack you did, I think, to a game called Shatter. Was, is that right? Yes. yes. Now, yeah, that, that's a... I was just going to. Sorry. I was just going to say that was really well received. That that um, soundtrack did it lead on to more things? Yeah, well, I mean, from Shatter, I ended up working for the company that put that together for the last three years. Um, we released over 12, maybe 15 different types of games, and I've, I've done soundtracks for all types of different types of iPhone games, and they're all selling over the million each. So pretty much through the company, I've had a really big exposure to the, um, you know, to the, to the world through the iPhones and through the um, iPads and other mediums. Um, I ended up scoring all the rugby um, challenge game that they released, which um, was a very big game and featured all the All Blacks, and I even got to record the Haka. So, <laughs> wow, awesome! Um, so yeah, it was great. I mean, I had a really um, kind of a really busy, productive last couple of years, and that's allowed me to basically follow through with that as a full-time career now. So, as well as kind of putting out my own music, so I'm extremely fortunate that that's happened. So when it comes to doing soundtracks like, say, for the you know the uh, the rugby and, and and that, is there a brief for what kind of um, sound that they're after? Yeah, I mean, video games are very specific. You have to kind of create music that's going to work for the for the game. So um, that's kind of like people are playing it for longer than they're listening to albums, so that yeah. the music needs to work and you you be, need to be able to listen to it. You know, hundreds of times without it getting without it getting too crazy. <laughs> so, so you but, you can get creative though, but but only within sort of the perimeters of what what they've given you. Yeah, but I, I tend to kind of have that really album approach to video game soundtracks, and I think that's why it's done so well, is because I'm really kind of going beyond what people expect video game music to be, and I think that's where we've kind of succeeded in that space. So. Mm. You know, we want to make something really engaging, and, and it has a lot of you know detail and depth to it, and I think that's what people react to. So, that's always been my kind of philosophy: is like put put 150 percent into it, and everyone will like it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, so we're being busy with all that. Has that put um, the module project on the back burner a little bit? It's put it into a different space. I mean, like I was, you know, as you know, I was touring quite extensively years ago, and um, I was playing in lots of clubs. And lots of bars and I just kind of felt like well this isn't you know I can't maintain this I'm getting older <laughs> and, and two this is not really what I really wanted to be with it I mean like after Remarkable Engines came out in 2006 I had a lot of you know I had a lot of people that really wanted to see me play so the, the only really places I had to play in New Zealand because New Zealand's quite a small market is really clubs and um, they ended up you know having to write or perform a type of music that people could dance to yeah so my music my music style changed quite drastically from remarkable engines just out of necessity yeah i'm in clubs and people need to dance and it's two o'clock in the morning and <laughs> you know my music took on a different path than, than what i initially started out module with which was fine because i've channeled that energy back into my video game work and now I've, i feel like i've got module back to where i always wanted it to be which was about more concepts and more artwork based and more dreamy based and 
that's that's where I've always wanted Mojo to be. And I didn't necessarily get lost. I just kind of just felt like where I was at the time. This is this is what's happened. And yeah, and I feel like with this new album, it's kind of a return to that. So yeah, definitely um, concepts and um, and dreamscapes, uh, imagineering. Um, yes. I'm just looking on the inside cover. Each track, you've got almost like a, a, a sort of a, a description, I, I suppose. Um, like the second yeah. track that we're, that's playing in the background now called uh, Make Out Magic, uh, which is about toy robots and, and love. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the each individual song, I mean, I was, when I put these songs together, the first one I started was in 2005. Like, just actually, one of them was written during Remarkably, but didn't make it. So like they've got this six year time span of like this album coming together and it's it's while everything has been happening I've been writing these quite detailed kind of sonic songs and I didn't really know what they were. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Oh, I said, what am I doing here? And I'm like writing an album and what kind of album is this? And and it was it was the music that I'd find myself writing when I was alone or, you know, when I wasn't trying to write, you know, dance music or I wasn't trying to do music for something else. I was just stuff that would naturally kind of come out of me without yeah. me really thinking about it. And um, while I was making these songs, I started getting quite strong visuals in my mind. So I just thought to myself, hey, I'm, I'm seeing quite strong visuals in my head when I'm putting this together. Let's follow their track. You know, and I just slowly started working on them over a long period of time. I did try to release it in 2009. Yeah. But, you know, the video game stuff completely took over my life at that stage. And um, yeah, and I think it's just a, a long kind of slow process. It's very much like I equate the whole album to being like a really slow detailed painting <laughs> well that's very very poetic you know that's a nice yeah. way to describe it um, and that's, and that's essentially what it is really so yeah and, and, and the actual putting together of these tracks are, is it all um, sounds you've created you know sequencing and, yep. and keyboards and stuff it's a, you haven't sampled anything at all oh there's a few sampled bits and pieces here and there it's just the nature of electronic music I mean like i like sampling, it's kind of you know, I take a, I, take, I definitely take a leaf out of hip hop production in terms of the way that I put beats and things together. But hmm. um, I mean, I really like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we might have a lot of it's really played. Oh, there we go. He's here, like old, you know, there's a lot of guitar parts and all the drum programming on these. All. Yeah. Um. So, but module. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm back now. <laughs> you are back. Yeah, module. Um, yeah. Lot... Well, what about what about your own voice? You know, uh, do, do you do you at all lend your voice to any of these tracks? Um, a kind of in a, in a different way. I mean, like in remarkable engines, I was singing a little bit on them, but I'm not a, I'm not the world's flashiest singer. <laughs> but like um. I like, if I'm using my voice, I'm using it in a kind of a computer way now, or making like little robots out of things. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I really like modifying my voice, so. In fact, I think that's what we've been, we've been hearing on this track, um, in the background. Oops, I think we're gone. <laughs> kind, kind, kind of a little high, kind of like, <laughs> robot sound. That could be, in fact, be you. Um, Imagineering is out now. Now, will, will, it, will it at all take you on the road? Will you end yeah. up hitting the road at all? In fact, we may. Um, we if may, I can, you know, I really want to. We may never know the answer to that question because I, I think Skype really isn't going to play um, the game with us anymore. But I think we've got the general message out there about Imagineering uh, by Module. I'm going to play track from it now um, called Highway. The horizon is endless. Here on Kiwi. Ten minutes now away from nine.